Welcome back and we're moving to a different topic and this is in and this is end wall or gable steel columns. So if you take a look on the screen here you can see we have our model in place but you can see on the gable side is wide open and there's no any column in between the two. So we want to create the columns in place and also you can see the other side we have the we need uh, to place the gable columns in place. So let me just right click and come out of that rotation command and now with the aid of peb steel lines, I'll come here and zoom close and double click on the peb steel line here and double click on it. So once I double click on it, I'll be able to get the editor dialog box for the peb steel line. Now in here, as I had demonstrated before, we had disabled the gable side here. So I'm, this time round, I'm going to enable the center, center, dis, center to center distances and the number of gable columns in place. So I'm going just to key 5 by 6 meters right there and if I click modify I'll be able to get the steel lines in place. So if I zoom out I'll be able to have the steel lines in place. So let me just come to navigate and rotate that. And also something I need to note is the grid line. When you start working on the on the mezzanine floor there will you have to enable or, or edit or add some more grid lines in place on the span on the span side. So, so let me just go ahead and start placing the, the columns here. So I'll come to application and components and come to PEB member here. So I'm going to begin from the bottom end here. You can see pick first uh, first position. So I'm going to just to place my mouse on top uh, just above that line and I'll be able to snap on the bottom end here. So there, so I'm going to click right there and zoom out and move all the way up top there and just place your cursor there and click OK. So I've clicked OK there, so I have my columns in place. So I'm going to, so I'll continue with placement of the columns. So just mouse at the bottom uh, on my steel line or steel peb line there and just mouse over the top there and I'll be able to place my column right there. So I can do the same to the other side or, or, or I can mirror, you use mirror, mirror or copy, rotate, and I'll be able to do that. So let me just say the easiest, do the easiest way by going individual by individual, pipe steel column, pipe steel line, and place the uh, and place the columns right there. So let me just mouse over there and place another one here. And just move closer and I've placed another one there. So let me do another one here and pick that spot and pick the, the upper part here. So that has been created. So I'll do the same thing. I'll just, uh, once I've done the copy, the creation of this, let me just uh, press control and I want to just to copy this on the other end. Let me just uh, select on that. Come here and select on that. And uh, I can just uh, I'll come here and pick on that as a copy command. Then I want to copy from this spot all the way to the other end. So there's one thing we've not, we've not taken into account is uh, if if we intended to break these uh, columns into two because this one it will tend to be so much high uh, so much longer and uh, to make the transport uh, transportation to site will be a, a bit hectic so what i'm going to do i'm going to undo that and do that and do that and do that and uh, and do that so we want to broken break these columns right at the center there so that it makes uh, direction much easier. So let me just terminate it at 6 meter there and uh, start another one from that spot and uh, place another one on top there and that way I'll snap just there and snap on that and give it some time and just mouse over that spot and take it up there so we have that in place. So I'll do the same thing here let me just bring it down there and terminate it somewhere there so I'll do the same thing as I did on the opposite direction and I'm going to place another column there. So let me just zoom close and take it to that uh, six meter level and I want to se se select on that spot and come there and click on that spot. So that's what I've done. So let me just do the same thing here and come here and place another one there. So let me zoom close and take this one right there. So we have these columns broken into two. In, we, we, all of them will be spl spliced. So it make, makes this uh, very easy 
to to transport this from the workshop to the site without any inconveniences in terms of uh, transportation so let me just select everything here then i'll right click and come to spatial copy or just a uh, copy simple copy command then i want to copy it from this uh, midpoint to the opposite direction to the opposite gable side and on the same same spot so let me just place it right on that spot so let's just give some time to process that information and that has been copied so always check whether everything has been done perfectly well and i think that has been done perfectly well now i'll come back to this side once again and i'll go straight and begin the placement of the of the splices the base plates and the connection on top there so let's first of all check how these are linking up with the bottom end here so let me just click on that spot and it's it's a, it has hit the zero zero level which is okay that was our intended intended destiny of the the start of the columns so you can see that and that is what you expect expect so the next thing i want just to start placement of the base plate so i'll just scroll up and uh, if i come across the base plate here i'll, I'll just uh, click on it and maybe if i want to work with the splice i'll just work on it so let me just uh, just just key in the base plate base space base plate right there and scroll down under applications and component then i'll pick on the base peb base plate right there now let me pick on the column then snap at the, at the middle point there and give some time to load that information right there so it might take some a little bit of seconds to for that base plate to appear because that information still being digested and be interpreted then be displayed to us for any modification or customization further so let me just double click on it on the default placement of the base plate then i'll be able to add more details or customize it to my best way i should now you can see we have four bolts on the on, on the on the on the on the website and uh, four and uh, on the on the flange we don't have any so we need also to define uh, the parts here so i can give it a width of maybe of, of uh, three or three hundred rather would be okay so if i come here and uh, key, uh, key in 300 and thickness maybe 20 millimeter thick that would be okay if i click okay and we'll see the results on the on the other side and let's that information be be, be taken in and be digested and the, the result will we'll see a preview of what we just changed here so this is the 300 and it's kind of small and it's it's so far it's okay and now what i'm going to do is now to start defining the bolts and the stiffeners now if i come to bolts here and the bolts and come here and i want to uh, i need approximately maybe three at a distance of uh, of 200 millimeter and uh, I can just leave it as it is and click OK so let's see what's happening here we have two bolts in place so let me just take this to 100 and click OK so once I've clicked 100 let's wait and see what we expect on this far end here that is two that is 100 and uh, we have so many bolts and uh, we want only want the necessary ones so in here we have to check what what do you need and what do we do we have in place so let's come back to bolts and uh, i give an offset here let me try one 100 and click ok so that is 100 so this side I can give it maybe 200 and see where, how we, where, where we land so we have that 200 so in here we can just uh, we key in zero we forgot to key in zero there so we'll have we'll come back here and key in that at a distance of 200 like that and click modify so once we have that in place and uh, the next thing we want to do is uh, keep keep that at, at 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 50 and keep this at at 50 also and see where we land and that's okay and probably 
not probably that uh, that much and if i turn it around you can see this bolt is closer to that and than this then in here what we can do is simple as this let me make it for for bolts we've gone past our target point and let me make it four at 150 four at 150 and click OK or modify so we have that in place and uh, that's too much bolts of for, for, for the for, for, that's too much anchoring bolts and we can give it three right there then let's try prefix that to a negative sign and that has moved inward and uh, what next do we need to do is we need to try a prefix that also and see how it moves and that moves in the opposite direction so i'm just taking the, the longer route so that you see how we can manipulate all this uh conveniently so let me try get rid of that and click modify so we have that in place and we have to add another bolt here uh, we have to add maybe make it 160 maybe make it uh, 170 will be okay now so that's okay so we have the stiffeners in place the stiffeners in place and if i come to rotate with mouse i'll be able to rotate that so we have that in place in bo with bolts so let's go to stiffeners if i come to stiffeners here if i come to stiffeners let me just give you some time to load the, all the information I'll, I'll pick a different arrangement or, or type of stiffeners and i'll pick on uh, that and if i click modify and i want to click, click modify after keying in or putting in the chamfer distances so let me keep put in the chamfer distances like that 40 40 millimeter and uh, i have also to, to define the thickness i can give it a thickness of that of 10 millimeter thick i give it 10 millimeter thick and it, let's, let's try click uh, modify and i also have to put in define the height of the stiffeners but you can also you can pick the material you want to use maybe uh, come to material steel and uh, i normally use i normally use this uh, s2275 and if i click on that i can give i can just write the stiffeners stiffener like that just give it a name and uh, maybe you want to change the class to maybe three and if you click modify it will change to to that color or green so i can just leave it as it was before so if i click on that it will just re be retained at that level so let's also adjust this one the end one at at one 120 that's okay and this one also on the side of the of the web also we can uh, just give it 150 right there and see where it ends and if you click on that it will it will extend to that but let's adjust that to take it back to 140 so 140 will be okay so that is uh, that is on the side of uh, stiffeners now i want just to add more details on the stiffeners here so that we don't you we don't uh, uh misuse the steel and let me just uh, add 80 there and if i click modify i'll be able to have that in place so the moment you you've done uh, a connection like this just give it uh, a name i can just give it uh, b1 and just go ahead and click save us and once you, you've clicked save us go, uh, click, uh, go and click load and click modify then you've saved this so if you come to this breakdown, breakdown uh, uh, drop down arrow you'll be able to see what you are a connection right there so just click ok so once you've done so once you've done so you'll just go ahead now and uh, start placement of, of the same same connection to the rest of the members so i'll come here i'll come here and pick the base plate and come here and just uh, select on that member and select the position right there and come here select the member and select the position right there and come here select the member and select the position right on, at the bottom there so the reason why it has it has had been placed is because it 
we've not located the accurate position of of the posi accurate position of the base plate so let me select on that and mouse there and place a, pla a base plate right there so you can see we've placed all the base plate and i can go on the on the other side and do the same exactly the same same thing so we've kind of gone way way beyond our timing but is 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 worth it because we want just to cut off uh, uh, we'll finish this and move to a different uh, uh, topic or uh, on the on the same same uh, a different part but on the same same to on the same same topic and uh, let me just uh, finish it by clicking clicking on that spot so we have our gable uh, complete with base plates but we we are left with splices and uh, the, the rafters uh, and the rafter connection between the gable columns and the rafters so let's handle that on the next on the next part of the same same topic and let's meet then i hope you'll do that by yourself and you'll be able to find easy time doing that so let's meet then